Good morning. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We say that because people log in from all over the world. Right, Schmidt? Good morning. Good morning. I'll be back, Car Chronicles. Yolanda is going up the timeline. God bless you. How are you? God bless you. Click, tag, and share. Hey. Sandra Pamman said, hey. Priscilla Spain, God bless you. It's good to see you. It's funny. Priscilla. Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> Thank you so much, Priscilla. God bless you. Minister Stefanetta. She is making her rounds to connect with people who are suffering a loss at this time. Akika Hicks is on here. Stacy Martin is going up the timeline. Latrice Grimbley or Grimble is going up the timeline. Greg, it's good to see you. God bless you. Christine Grant is going up the timeline. God bless you all. Click tag and share as necessary. Internet, Tanya Ford, it is good to see you. Domitia is going up to timeline. Chardon, it seems to be her name. Alicia Carr, it's good to see you. God bless you all. Shelly Ann Dixon from Jamaica is going up to timeline. God bless you all. I hope you guys set your notification because I do come on at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. After Sunday, I'll explain it all. And it's going to make a lot of sense. God bless you, Tanya. God bless you, Valerie. God bless you, everyone. Nasha, Natasha is going up the timeline. It is all going to make sense because I'm going to explain it all. If you would just give us a couple of more days to just recoup and recover and all of those good things you do when you rest. And so I am saying to you all, AP Assistant Pastor Deliria Michelle. I know she will be here, but she is also resting. Talia. Talia's in New Jersey, baby. She's saying good morning. Good morning, Talia. God bless you all. Everyone under the sound of my voice. Stacy Ann is going up the timeline. We are so good. Michelle say hey. Good morning to the goodins. She is going up the timeline. Everyone who is under the sound of my voice. It's time to pray. Look at your boy, Les. What's going on, Les? Les is going up the timeline. Click tag and share. Click tag and share. Click tag and share. I want to say to my husband, Crystal Pist is going up the timeline. God bless you. Sharita Clark. She said, my virtual pastors. We are so honored <laughs> to be that Harriet Hunt. I like to call some names if I can. Shawnee, we are praying for you. It is prayer time. If, yeah. if, if we don't know anything else, husband, right? Mm -hmm. It's prayer time. I want you to go to James 5 and 16. Can we do that? Nakia Johnson. Let's do that. James 5 and 16. Got that, Baba? Okay. Well, what my husband is going to do with his deep old Mufasa voice. I want him to read it. I got you, baby. Listen to this. Listen to it. Listen. Remember we're fasting to 12 o'clock noon time. Okay? I got it for you, baby. He likes the King James Virgin. I like the NIV. But either way you look at it, in our household, we are Bible readers. Amen. Amen. Confess your faults. James 5, 16. Confess your faults one to another mm -hmm. and pray one for another mm -hmm. that ye may be healed. Mm -hmm. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Amen. Last night, my husband dynamically preached about having a conversation with God. And as he began to preach under the unction of the Holy Spirit, it was amazing because this morning I woke up and the Lord had James 5 and 16. Can I borrow this, baby? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Last night, my husband spoke about confession or having a conversation with God. A conversation with God and sometimes eloquently people wish that they can pray all those thou's and thus mm -hmm. and all of those big words. But suppose I reiterated to you that just like my husband said, it is a conversation. And you said something last night. You said the conversation is both individuals are conversing. 
That means I'm speaking, he's responding, and then he is speaking, correct? Mm -hmm. And so it is a conversation. The conversation that is long overdue for some of you, just like my husband said last night, it needs to be had. But I want to pay attention to James 5 and 16. I'm going to use the King James Version because my husband loves it. Confess. Yeah. It says it. Yeah. Everyone needs God to hear their prayer. But the confession is what has to be made first. Confess your faults one to another. And pray for one another. Why would God say, make a confession to each other and then pray for each other? Because the blockage allows the communication to stop when unforgiveness is present. The hard conversation that is necessary, not just to God, but for one another. So that your prayer, even the Bible says, husbands pray for your wife, right? Mm -hmm. So that your prayers be not what? Hindered. Hindered. A husband's prayers could be hindered because he lacks praying for his wife or spouse in some people's cases. It also says that ye may be healed. All of those things don't happen until that hard conversation is had. Until that confession is had. Some of you, I'm saying you need to call some people. And like my husband said, besides God, have that hard conversation that you've been avoiding to have because you're too angry. And you can't pray for them because you're too mad. Or you're holding the grudge or whatever it is. The effectual fervent prayers of a righteous person cannot avail until that conversation is had. That's right. It's not had. It, 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 people want to pray fervently. Speak in tongues. But you won't speak to each other. My husband and I get ready to take a trip. And we'll be back Sunday because I'm so excited to preach in the new house. I want you to bring somebody with you. But just like we're fasting today to 12 o'clock, noontime, your time. Those confessions need to be had. Suppose you're holding a secret and you know it's the secret that could change someone's trajectory on how they think about life. Mm -hmm. And God is saying your effectual fervent prayers might be righteous, but I can't hear it until I you I can't hear it until you confess. Have that conversation and confess. The um the and one of the reasons why he tells us to confess one to another. Mm -hmm. Is because sometimes we can be so heavenly minded that we ain't no earthly good. Mm -hmm. And so we just believe, I'm going to just tell God. Right. That, that's the, that fixes right? it. Right. I'm going to just tell God. Mm -hmm. And and you're thinking you just talking to God about it has relieved something, but it hasn't. Mm -hmm. You have to tell somebody else. And we ain't talking about telling no anybody. We're talking about telling somebody that has has the ability to be able to handle what you're going to say and then with you take it to God in prayer. Mm -hmm. But you have to say it to somebody because you need that medium. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to confess with somebody that's in the same flesh as you. Mm -hmm. Not for them to know your business, but for you to come down out of pride. God has to make sure all pride mm -hmm. and all, all arrogance mm -hmm. is gone mm -hmm. And that's why he tells us, because he said, you can come to me, mm -hmm. but you can't, it's not going to be right because you ain't dumped pride and ego yet. Mm -hmm. When you speak to somebody else about something that you've done, it mm -hmm. dumps the pride and the ego mm -hmm. and it allows you to begin to feel actual conviction for what you've done. Mm -hmm. Then you can go to the father. It's amazing because um, as you were speaking, three things mm -hmm. um, begin to resonate in my spirit. And I need you guys to put this up just like this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to answer that question, Miss Calloway. Confession brings about conversation, mm -hmm. which activates forgiveness. I love it. Confession brings, brings about, about conversation, conversation that, that, activates it, that activates forgiveness. forgiveness. A young like lady, Miss Calloway, went up the timeline and she said, well, how do you know there's something wrong if you, if, if you believe that everything is okay? Sometimes you believe that everything is okay. Maybe not to the other individual. I want you to pay attention. Good morning, Timothy, and your beautiful wife and the baby. 
suppose you think that everything is okay, like Miss Calloway said, and I haven't done anything wrong. Well, my dear, you're not paying attention. You're not paying attention because those phone calls that y'all used to have, stop. That little butterfly feeling that you had in your friendship, left. Yeah. There was always a sign, right, baby, yeah, the that yeah. something is wrong. Always. And sometimes because you believe it's okay, you cannot tell me that you did not have a confrontation with someone and y'all ended it with, I'm sorry. And then something happens to the relationship. Toxic people are toxic people. And we deal with toxic people all the time. The best way to deal with a toxic person is don't. But you know in your hearts of hearts that something is wrong. Because something has changed. Even if you choose to say, I don't want you in my space anymore. Or this relationship is not good for me. Give them at least a reason why. It's not that they don't understand that they're toxic. Sometimes toxic people are toxic people. That's why it says confess. The confession is, I have a problem with you. Yeah. The yeah. confession is, this is not going to happen any longer, right, baby? Right. And so that confession brings about conversation, which brings about the activation of forgive me. Yeah. Sometimes you need to say, I'm sorry. Forgive me. But this is not good for me. This ain't good for me. That's what it, it's amazing because in Catholicism, the the priest goes behind the door, right, baby? Exactly. And before you even take communion, which I hope you guys are taking communion and don't wait for me and Fred because y'all gotta have it, make it part of your regiment. Mm -hmm. Even the Catholic priest goes behind the door and he sits there and he slides the screen back and he does what? Listens to your confession. Suppose I told you right where you are, 2,000 people under the sound of my voice. Your effectual fervent prayers of the righteous. See, people take that part of the mm -hmm. scripture. The mm -hmm. effectual fervent prayers of the righteous person the veil is much. You could call somebody to pray for you and you think that they're a prayer warrior child. Oh, they can speak in tongues. They can lay on the floor. But how do you know they have not confessed their fault so that their prayers could be heard concerning your phone call saying, pray for me? They don't see the... The one thing that you got to see in that is that it's a formula. Yeah. Confess your faults one to another. That's the formula. Pray for one another. Mm -hmm. The effectual, it's a comma, then it says the effectual mm -hmm. fervent prayer of a righteous. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Meaning that you can't be righteous. Mm -hmm. And your righteousness, first of all, is of mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. That's right. But you can't be righteous unless you have already went before God and before man. Right. To, be, to become righteous. Mm -hmm. So he calls us righteous. He said this factual fervent prayer of a righteous man. He calls us righteous because we've forgiven. Right. Because we've we've down or we've we've given up our pride. We've mm -hmm. given up our ego mm -hmm. because we're not hiding sin. That's right. Right? Mm -hmm. Cuz he that hides sin mm -hmm. shall not prosper. That's right. That's the only way to be righteous. Mm -hmm. Our righteousness is of Jesus Christ. Right, right. The word of God, and honey, get that scripture for me. Mm -hmm. um, it's amazing that the word of God, he that hides sin. See, I think the problem is, is that people hide sin like God can't see. You Right now, under the sound of my voice, we've got 2,000 people at almost 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And right now, there is a man going somewhere to see a woman that's not his and think God doesn't see. Right now, there's a woman right now doing something unbeknownst to her husband or spouse. And you think God mm -hmm. don't see what you're doing when you leave the house. Unbeknownst to you, your friends, but yet still she or he may be hiding something that may crush the very existence of what you think. Mm -hmm. And they think because they don't say nothing. You know, even the world has it pegged and we don't. If you see, look, if you see something, say something. Watch this, baby. Go ahead, honey. Proverbs 28 and 13. Proverbs 28 Listen and 13. Listen to the connection that the Holy Ghost has given you. Uh huh. He that coveth his sin shall not prosper. Mm -hmm. Colon. But whoso confesseth and forsaketh them all, mm -hmm. them shall have mercy. Shall have mercy. Confesseth mm -hmm. and forsake. Right. He says, he that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but the ones 
that confess and forsake. In other words, he's saying, while you're thinking that you're right in where you are mm -hmm. and thinking that you just talking to God about it is all right, mm -hmm. he's saying for him, it's a sin that's covered mm -hmm. because it had not been exposed. Wow. by the sun yet wow or the or the word that mm -hmm. is the sun mm -hmm. so you got to confess he said you got to confess it then you got to forsake it mm -hmm. you got to confess it then you got to turn away from it. Mm -hmm. it's almost like whom the sun set free is free indeed That's it. and the freedom and the indeed. liberation of salvation is that i'm free that this secret doesn't have me bound yeah. i'm free that you can't hold me sometimes people will have a secret and hold it against you because they want to control mm -hmm. your happy the liberation is an amazing thing that's why the core values of unity is liberty love and laughter most people can't laugh because they bound by something that's hurting them yeah. And God is saying, what's wrong with you? The effectual fervent prayers are supposed to be working. And maybe yeah. this is the problem. Yeah. Maybe that's why prayers are not working because of the secrets. Yeah. Because of what you're holding on in your own. It's the, the Holy Spirit said it's the activation. Mm. The activation is hindered by unforgiveness. The activation. See, fervent means hot, fiery. Right. Fervent me, like, I, I, you know, we want a, a spot of tea in the morning, right, London? Because London is watching. You turn up the, the fire and you hear the kettle go, mm -hmm. because that fire is fervent and it's causing the reaction of the tea kettle. And so when you pray fervent, watch this. When you pray fervent, people think, oh, okay, I got that. But there is no activation in all that fire if you can't forgive. And so now there's you have to connect with God. There is listen, the prince of Persia is real. That means that there was a spiritual entity that governed a region that every time then you pray, shoot, there was a fight. Shoot. And whatever the principality that causes you not to forgive your offender, no matter what it is, God says, I want your righteous prayers to avail. But I need you to fervently. Take all that fire and forgive. Have a conversation. Talk about it. Well, they don't want to talk to me. Somebody just went up the timeline. 2,100 people click tag and share. We're going to hurry up and leave. They said, people think that you can take the secrets to the grave. Mm, that's a lie. That's a chance I wouldn't take. That's a, you, that's a boy, lie. That's a chance I wouldn't take, boy. I, you know what it is? I think people hold secrets because... They don't want to be responsible for someone else's pain. Mm -hmm. But I would be responsible for someone else's pain to gang a seat in heaven and to sleep at night. Do you, you know what most? You say? To I, gain your seat well? To gang my seat in heaven and to sleep at night. That's a conversation we don't talk about no more. No, the church, you know, they <laughs> cover up everything. No <laughs> they cover up everything. And see, God had to watch this just like you preached last night about Paul on the road to Damascus. Mm -hmm. God himself had to uncover a lie that Saul was living. It means that he was going around thinking he was doing the right thing, but he was doing the wrong thing. And God said, Saul, Saul, why do you, per where you came? He said, he told the truth. He said, I'm going to tell you the truth. You're going to do the very thing that I don't want you to do, that you did not been chosen to do. I called you for greater. Now, what I got to do, I got to break your heart to save your life. And some of you right now, under the sound of my voice, God said, get ready for the experience. He said, I'm getting ready to break your heart to save your life from you. And God said to me, he said, effectual fervent prayers are not working because the hindrance of the secret. Ah, the hindrance of the secret is, listen to me. I know you molested me. I know you did it. I know you did it. Sometimes what, what happens is just like I told you when I was a little girl, when I was fondled, I was grown living in South Orange with two kids. And the cousin that, that, that fondled me, you know, is something happened when I was at the CVS on South Orange Avenue. Something inside of me leaped. Like, <gasps> He said, hey, cuz. <gasps> Y'all crying. Oh, baby, they crying, sugar. This is hard. But it's like my husband said, it's a hard conversation. And I thought for years I wasn't going to tell this secret. But something happened. I'm going to help you. God don't let you forget 
when he came up in CVS and <gasps> something to me leaped. And I said, you were the cousin. When I was going down the stairs at 430 Clinton Avenue with that white jacket and them skates, you put me on your back and you put your hand behind you and you fondled me as a child. You, it just, <gasps> something to me just jumped. And I felt liberation. Because even as an adult, what that happened to me as a child, I was able to stand before my offender. Do you know holding heart, holding something like that in your heart will make you hate people? Most people hate because of what's in their heart. That's why God got to reveal it with a conversation and a confession. Some of you who, okay, they crying. Some of you, 2,500 people, who under the sound of my voice, some of your heart is breaking because of what your ex did to you. You know they did, you know that jack legged, they did that to you, whatever it was. And you're angry. Some of you are angry at your mother because it happened. You're angry at your father. Whatever the anger issue is, the root cause of you not being able to have a conversation or pray is because of a secret. Mm. I think um, one of the things last night and as you were ministering, um, I heard the Holy Spirit say that some of you are getting ready to experience that blindness that Paul experienced. Wow. That, but before he became Paul, uh, the Lord took his sight away. Mm -hmm. He took his ability to be able to move like he wanted to so that he can position him. Mm -hmm. And some of you are there right now. Mm -hmm. You feel Jesus. like God have taken away your position. You mm. feel like God have taken away your sight. Mm -hmm. And now you need somebody else. Those men that he was that that was going with him to go and murder and to slaughter, those men became his nurse. Mm -hmm. Those became his nurse. They they had to now help him mm -hmm. to where he had to go at because God mm -hmm. disabled him. Wow. And some of you, God has disabled you. Mm -hmm. He has taken away your sight. He's taken away your movement, either physically or spiritually mm -hmm. or financially. He's taking that away because he's getting ready to show you in that uncomfortable conversation. Mm -hmm. He's getting ready to give you direction because the way that you have been going is not the way. Mm -hmm. The way that you have to stand, the, the direction that you have to go in it's different from where you are. Like my wife yeah. said, some of you is standing against your offender. Mm -hmm. And some of you, it's being that you were the offender mm -hmm. in some type of way. That's right. That's right. I think sometimes people feel because they were the offender that God can't forgive. And God loves everybody. Don't let people tell you that he don't. He loves everybody. He don't like our sin. You know, serving God is such a beautiful thing. If you know how to do it right, mm -hmm. I'm going to say that. Mm -hmm. Don't do it with religion. Do it with relationship. Because the relationship will say, man, I shouldn't have said that. Right. The relationship will say, let me tell you something, sweetie. The relationship will make you so careful how you handle people in life. And that's what it's about. I'm going to pray right now while my husband and I just touch and agree. We don't have any secrets. We don't. We are pastors of God's own heart. I like to believe so. Why don't we have secrets? Baby? Watch the fruits. Why don't we have we secrets? We don't have secrets because we practice mm -hmm. confessing to one another. That's right. We did that yesterday. My husband and I went out to eat. And Sunday I was resting and I was, I, I, I turned into a straight fool. You know, don't worry, Sunday I'll, I'll explain it all. And, and, and I said some stuff to Fred, I did. I said, man, I said some stuff to Fred because I was just mad. And I wasn't mad at my husband, I was mad at my situation. I was mad at my situation. And a week went by mm. and we were sitting at the I table and he looked at me, he said, baby, let me ask you a question. Where did that come from? And so as I sat there and tried to eat my salmon, I had to confess to my husband, baby, it wasn't about you. It was about my situation. Mm -hmm. My situation caused me to lash out. And I said, I'm sorry. Yeah. And I sat there at the table and I said, baby, I'm sorry. I'm angry at my situation because things got to change now. Mm -hmm. 
because you're going through your Paul situation. Right. I'm going through my Paul situation. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't want to go through the Paul situation mm -hmm. because it hurts and you can't see. Mm -hmm. It hurts and you can't see. I can't see life as I knew it. You know what's beautiful about that, though? He takes away our sight so he can recalibrate our faith. Wow. And recalibrate our vision. And recalibrate our because vision. Because without vision, you perish. So now, because he pulls the scales off and you have that conversation, you can see clearly now the rain is gone. Amen. Amen. We're going to pray right now. We're going to ask you right now to confess your faults one to another. You have to have those hard talks. Some of you need to have those hard talks with your daughters. Hard talks with your sons. Hard talks with your spouse. Hard talks with yourself. How about that? Amen. Hard <laughs> talks with your grandma, your nana, whoever you had the confrontation with. Yeah. Sometimes people don't want to have those hard talks because you don't even feel you, that you're good enough. Some of you need to have hard talks and say, you know what? I wasn't mad at you. I'm mad at my situation. Yeah. I'm mad at myself. How did I get here? I did this to myself. Some of you need to say some stuff like, you always bragging about the goodness of the Lord. And I'm sitting up here trying to figure life out. How many of you under the sound of my voice will, just like Minister Stephan had to say, misplace anger. Some of you need to say, listen, I look at my situation and I don't mean to compare, but you pray like I pray. But why is this happening to you and ain't happening for me? You need to have that confession, that hard talk. Amen. Because it's the effectual Mm. fervent prayers of the righteous that avail but that don't happen until you confess and you confess it to God and then one another and then you activate forgiveness and God says guess what let's get your miracle in the making today this is me and my husband's seed of $27 that's all it is that is a sacrifice that I give God to activate my fervent prayers because I've forgiven myself, I've forgiven my situation, and I've forgiven a whole lot of people, mm. whether they believed it or not, mm. whether they received it or not. Yeah. Because that confession is for me, that God can hear my prayers. Honey, you want to pray? Father, we just thank you right thank now, you, Father, God. for being Everybody, so faithful God. to us, God. God the 3, we thank you, God, in that, the name of Jesus. that in the midst of us being yes, in the wrong direction or yes, in the God. midst of us being in a in a right. position where you want to change us and yes, you want to get us in a new direction, yes, Jesus. we thank you, God, for your grace and your mercy, yes, God, God. being you, so God. sufficient in our life, God, Hallelujah, to get us there. Jesus. We thank you right Do now, oh God. God, for our road to Damascus experience, Do God, Jesus. that has taken us so close to you, bringing us closer to Jesus. you, God. Heal we want to ask you, God, and I ask you right now for forgiveness for yes, so many God. people, God, that are yes, connected Jesus. with us right now. In we want to ask you Jesus. forgiveness for, for our mind, our thoughts, yes, our deeds, our hearts, things yes, that God. we said, things that we've done. We just ask yes, you, God, Jesus. to forgive us all in the name forgive of Jesus, Jesus, oh God. Forgive us, we pray, Father, even as we connect internationally in right now, God one by one, mind and Forgive mind and heart Jesus. and heart, God. We just Forgive ask you, Jesus. God, to begin to speak to us again. Amen. We understand Amen, and we know, Lord, that we've right been now, doing God. all the talking. Forgive us, Jesus. We know we've been doing all the talking in the prayer, yes, God, Jesus. but we ask you right now as we take this moment in this day of yes, fasting, Jesus. We ask your Father to speak to us. Speak to us, God. As we get silent, God, speak to our speak hearts. To our hearts. Speak to our minds. Speak to our God. souls. Bring us out of these dark name, places, Jesus. oh God. Bring us back into true happiness. Right now, Bring us back into true joy, God. Happiness Most of all, joy. Lord. Give us that direction. There's Thank some people you, out here that need direction right direction now, God. The they need direction, God. Right now, God. They, they need to hear you, God. And I pray right now you begin to silence all the voices around Amen. them that keep bringing voids. Silence those voices around them, God, that keep bringing confusion and chaos, God. Silence those voices, oh God. And as they begin to get into devotion this morning, either way by reading or praying, however, God, speak to them and give them the answer they need. We thank you right now, God, for the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man. It does avail much. Yes, but we know and we remember this day, God, and confess to you that we know that you are our righteousness. Yes, and our righteousness is thank of you, God. Thank you right now, thank God, you, for what will be done 
this is a turning of a brand new day for many of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, I want you to practice something today. I want to show y'all something. Ready? You're going to do it with us today. Watch this. Baby, I'm sorry. I mean, I've already said it yesterday, but I'm just, we're teaching the people how easy it is. Baby, I'm sorry. I accept your apology, baby. Okay. It's that easy. It's not for some people, but I want you to try it today. And then after you do that, let God have his way. Remember, it's a confession that, can, that makes a conversation to activate forgiveness. Forgive each other. Free each other. Yeah. And liberation will find you. Yeah. It's hard. I don't care what it is. Forgive and live. I need to say this to the men, especially the husbands right now. Mm -hmm. There's a lot not happening because your prayers are hindered because of your wife. Wow. Now listen to this. Not because she have done something wrong mm -hmm. or praying against you, mm -hmm. but because you are not one. Wow. Because your unity is broken. Mm -hmm. And even though you're in the same house, in the same space, in mm -hmm. the same bed, mm -hmm. until that oneness comes back to where it needs to mm -hmm. be at, mm -hmm. God cannot hear your prayers properly, mm -hmm. even for you to move forward mm -hmm. in what you know mm -hmm. is right. right. Your prayers are being hindered. Mm -hmm. That means that sometimes mm -hmm. the man has to take the position as the priest. That's right. It don't matter whether you're right or you're wrong, mm -hmm. but take the position as the priest mm -hmm. and bring unity, bring love, mm -hmm. bring peace back to the house mm -hmm. so that your wife can be free mm -hmm. And that God can move in your house. That's right. Okay? That's right. Everybody put up, I'm sorry. Everybody put up, I'm sorry. Have those hard conversations today. And even though they're hard, they have to be had. Because the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous cannot avail until you do it. Amen. We're on the road again. See y'all tomorrow. Be at church on Sunday. Bring somebody with you. Bring Love somebody you. with you. Please Love do. you. Bye-bye.